It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Hey. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy E C E O, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. Yeah, my dad, all going. Hey man, how you doing? I'm good. Man, it's going down, man. So we got a guest here today, man. Hey man, we just kind of bumped into each other, man. Mm. Hey man, and, and it was it it, hey, it was organic. It happened because it needed to happen, man. You know. Um, we run, run around with some of the same people as well, man. My boy, the V-King, is in the building, man. A whole lot of wood shit. What's going on, man? A lot of wood shit. <clears throat> Say, man. So what's going on with you, man? Oh, no much, man. Feeling good. Feeling Hollywood right now. Say, man. I was so, <laughs> hey, man, I was so so happy to meet you. When I met you and when we started talking, I couldn't even go get my uh, watermelons and uh, grapes and uh, all my stuff mm -hmm. in the fruit dial. Yeah. Now, I was actually coming out, but at any rate, man, it was a blessing to run into you like that. It was. So, man, I, I just want to, I, I want to get into everything that you deal with, man, and the whole lot of woods. Can we talk? I want to break that down. Talk that whole process. And where the name came from. Where the name came from. Where the name came from. <laughs> How'd you come up with this? Uh, So, the name is, it's an area, like, by Dunkerville, my work kind of Dunkerville on the outskirts is called the woods. Okay. So, I just call it a whole lot of woods shit. You yeah, know, we're doing boxing events. Yeah, you know, so I brought the whole woods together. You know, like one side of woods, another side of woods. So you know, I ain't saying it's like some blood and crip stuff or nothing, but you know, they stay over there. The other side already stay over there. You know, people don't really like making them walks or okay had them differences. But when I started doing this, I'm just like you know a whole lot of woods shit. Told my partners, I'm like man, you know, don't get the tripping with them. Don't get the tripping with nobody, man. We're gonna come together, you know, and have meetings. Uh, to it, man, the first event, people were crying. You know, they ain't seen people in 20 years, 10 years, 15 years. Everything just brought the community back but together. But what inspired it? Why oh. the idea? Oh, um, uh, dang, that's a good, y'all be asking good questions. Uh, <laughs> okay, so what inspired it was I was in school. And how old were you at the time? 29. I'm 34 okay. now. Okay. So I was trying to find myself, you know, yeah, pretty much trying to find myself. So I was like, man, what I'm gonna do? Like, dang, what I'm gonna do? You know, like, man, I wanna be that kind of entrepreneur. Do I wanna do finance? Do I wanna do marketing? Uh, you know, just like, what I wanna do? So I started like thinking of strategies to get a lot of black people together. So uh, make a long story short, I thought about uh, just doing some nigga shit. Okay. You know, okay. to, you know I, I use, really use Tupac philosophy, how you say, how you got thug life. Yeah. You know, he was going to pretty much do a bunch of nigga stuff and then redirect them, you know, to something positive. Yeah. So pretty much I did that and uh, seen like a lot of my homeboys and, and man, life was just going downhill for a lot of people. And, uh, you know, one thing about me, I'm always, I was growing up, I was always fighting. My name is always associated with fighting and art. So I'm like, man, uh, I'm doing all these workout videos. I'm working out 24-7. I'm like, man, the only thing people really want to do is see me fight. So um, one day my partner got some boxing gloves named Kodak Key. Shout out to Kodak Key. He, so you uh, must have been a good fighter or something if everybody want to see you fight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you got them hands. Oh, okay. Yeah. Who yeah. taught you to fight? Um, Was it the streets? Yeah, growing up fighting. Growing That's up, what I'm Everybody always tried you. Uh, Nah, they didn't. Then why would you, why were you fighting? That's what we did. Okay, so growing up, I growing up I grew up in Baba Jordan. So where? Baba Jordan. Some apartments named Baba Jordan. I know exactly. Okay, where I, you. I know. Yeah. Yeah. So pretty much growing up growing up in Baba Jordan, all you had to do was fight. Literally, I moved from there when I was ten, but I still got that same mentality. I mean, that was like that was my fantasy land. Like they say, home is where the heart at. You know, uh, when I think about. My happy and place. it's real fighting, like huh? it was yeah. real fighting. It's about you know, maybe like let's spar. Let's no, spar. No, no, you know, no, these kids, kids. they in the hood, man. Yeah, hood, like bro. in Jamaica, when niggas be out there into it, you see like somebody when you're fighting. Into it, yeah, you fight. Yeah, that's what that fighting. They fight. just, oh, okay, because I see kids. I see on Instagram and boxing. Star, yeah, they nigga, be get together, out there. And, you know, they they start playing around, but end up being a real fight anyway. <laughs> nah, we weren't playing around. No, oh, no, okay. no, no. Yeah, the kids they made us fight for fun. Like my brother and his friends and other dudes, man. They still playing. We playing with toys, playing with marbles. Hey, y'all get together and y'all fight. We don't want to fight each other. We don't want to fight each other. 
Nigga, y'all better fight before we whoop y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so you got to fight. <laughs> yeah, so now we, you know, the soda thing, and nigga, you better not push. Nigga, you push that nigga again, nigga, I'm going to hit you, nigga. Yeah. So I right, get, get that pushing, get the taking off, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And every time I came outside, it seemed like, it seemed you, like every time I had a fight. And you won every time? <sighs> majority of the times. Majority yeah. of the time? Like nine times ten. Uh, to be honest, I, I'm going to just say majority of the times, but I don't think I did at that time lose a fight. I could be wrong, but I don't think I did. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But um, I don't know where he come from. I just, don't know, this one fly. Yeah, but just grew up with that mentality though. Just grew up with that mentality. Moved, then I moved to the woods. And then when I moved to the woods, it was just I had that same mentality, just fighting. You know that that's how I so love. I so love by just hitting somebody in the chest. You know. But I mm -hmm. think it's I think it's so inspir I think it's so. Uh, inspirational to uh, see what you guys are doing. I think that's an inspiration. I think to see um, you guys come together because it could be a lot of shooting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's stopping a lot of violence. And and, and that's what I think that's what, I'm pretty sure that's what Fat Pimp was talking about when he was on right. here. Right. Because he made mention of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Said that it was helping the community, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Stop, you know, stop a lot of the, you know, when people get their frustration out, getting it out there like that, I think that's the way, because that's the way we just do it when we were young. Mm -hmm. You know, you get out there and fight, then you ain't kill nobody. The next day, you just get it off your chest and then mm -hmm. go, and then you get to live to see yeah. another day. So you came up with this idea, mm -hmm. and then you brought a couple people together and said, okay, how do we get this going? Is that what you did? Mm. Tell me the process. Tell me the process from the moment that you thought about it okay. till... Um, the process... I'm trying to think of the process would. That'd be like a long process. No, that's fine. Go ahead. Yeah. You can summarize it. Yeah, Tell yeah. me, okay, you thought about it. Because it was oh, yeah, somebody okay, else. Okay, so. Because okay. if somebody else listening in another area would like to start something like this, they yeah. want to know so pretty how much, to go about I made, it. Yeah, so my partner, you know, he sold me the gloves and then I made a Facebook post. So when I made the Facebook post, I, uh, I was like, who want a uh, box? You know, who talking about boxing? Everybody on Facebook was just, Oh, I want a box, I want a box, I want to do this, I want to do that. So then I was like, okay, bet. So I started screenshotting everybody who said they want a uh, box. I started screenshotting, uh, you know, copy, paste. I mean, I trim, they um, mm -hmm. picture up, I write, you know, a throw caption, and then I, you know, put them against each other, you know, just mm -hmm, get mm -hmm. the promoting, and I was just making jokes, make memes, and then, like, just the whole Facebook, everybody went to school with community, things like that. They just got, oh, I'll fight, I'll fight, I'll fight him, I'll fight him. So I'm instigating, then I'm, uh, you know, I'll take the screenshot. So they try to back out of it. Nah, bro, you just said this, you said that, bro. You scared now? Nah, that ain't what you said. Yeah, you exposed it yeah, at that point. Drop that screenshot. This is what you said. Now, two days later, literally two days, then I'm going on Facebook Live, everybody on the live, talking trash, what they going to do. Next thing you know, 100 people at the park. Wow. You know, so then we live, we're going to barbecue, you know, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. Then nobody fought. So this is done at the park? Yeah, at the park. Okay. The park in the woods. Okay. Yeah, so nobody fought. Nobody fought. And I'm thinking like, dang. But I already had a feeling. So I said, okay, if nobody going to fight, then I'm going to fight. You know, but I'm going to use myself. So you were the first boxer. Yeah. So okay. I was like, I'm going to use myself as a trump card. But it took a person like me to do this because my name is associated with fighting. You know, some people are known for being clean and mm -hmm. play or dressing or getting money. I was just known for fighting, fighting in art. Mm -hmm. So, um, so who did you fight in um, that first fight? Yeah. And how did you get? So you just walk to somebody and be like, "Hey, come on, we gonna fight." Pretty much, yeah. So um, on Facebook, I seen you know people talking about him, like you know, man, you don't want with him, or he gonna do something, he gonna step. You know, I'm looking like, okay, you know, whatever. Try to mm -hmm. put them against somebody. But in my mind, in my mind, I'm always, um, yeah, in my mind, I'm always like, all right, push kind of sub, worst case scenario, I'm going to put myself on the line. Because mm -hmm. I done got everybody out here, so it got to be a fight. I'm, you know what I'm saying? It's always been my mentality, like, you know, I'm going to give the people some action. Mm -hmm. So uh, got out there with the dude. Uh, everybody backed up. I walked up to the dude. I was like, hey, which one of y'all name is uh, Zhu? You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't really know him, but I heard, you know, I heard he go hard. So, you know, we didn't lose draw, I wasn't tripping, but I know 100 people out here, they came to see a fight. And I did all that talking and promoting on Facebook, so I'm like, God dang, yeah. like, man, it, something got to happen. So I, I walked up to him, I said, hey, man, um, 
which I'm not walking up to another dude. I thought he was Jew because he like the better dude in the crowd. Mm-hmm. So I like, hey, uh, you know, which one of y'all named Jew? You're like, nah, it's Jew right there or whatever, Jew, Jew. So then I was like, hey, um, you know, man, I'm telling you, this gonna be big. We, I'm like, I'm telling you, bro, trust me, it's gonna be big. We're gonna get like a million views. It's gonna blow up. I just felt it. You know, I just, I just knew it. Cause just how like everybody just came to the park like that and just the energy. Mm-hmm. I don't know, man. Just like I was out reading out on books and that's when I, was, I started learning about manifestation. I read the Alchemist. I was reading a lot of Dale Carnegie, and I'm just believing it. You know, I'm really just start walking to my purpose. So, exactly. Yeah. So, everything starts in the mind first before yeah, it, it yeah, manifests. Yeah. It. So yeah. So that's pretty much how it happened. So we got out there. You know, some people told me don't do it. Told me I don't get slaughtered. You know, then my partner's like, man, you know, man, they got us messed up, man. You know, put them gloves on. They don't know the V. The V gon', you know, the V go hard. They get out there, and you know, uh, the rest is history. You know what I'm saying? How many views did you get on the first video? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna just say some thousands. I don't know. Uh, everybody, you know, got their lives. Mm-hmm. But people knew about it though. Like, yeah. You know, it just. You know, people so know you didn't that. have somebody there for you who was videoing it for you? No, nah, it was just so unorganized. It was just... Uh, That's how you start anything. Yeah, it was just pull up at the court. It was just <laughs> pull up at the court, you know? So the, the only organized thing I had going was barbecue. I had to be on barbecue. <laughs> we go you know barbecue. We go we go, eat. We go gonna eat. We go eat before we fight yeah, or after we fight. People start bringing cameras and stuff. And, uh, you know, like, oh, dang, look. Good no, on camera. It, it grew because I mean I know I heard about a couple of people showing up, big name people showing up to mm-hmm. the to the fights, you know, yeah, from Earl yeah, Spence to, yeah. and I don't know how long ago it was. Um, uh, Earl Spence he showed up right before he had a car accident, probably about three days before he had a car accident. Wow. Yeah, yeah, just beat Sun Porter. Wow, I mean that was like a dream come true. I ain't gonna lie to you. How did you, you feel didn't expect about him it? To man, what you was I like, man, that's that, big man. man. Man, I'm telling you, man, look, everything that's going on right now, man. Ask my daughter. She sees everything. I planned this out. I wrote it down on paper. Everything. Literally everything. Maybe like nine times ten. I wrote it down two years ago on paper. I got wow. a whole spiral that say a whole lot of woods. And my line, Kayla. Wow. Literally wrote it down. Like, you know, even Earl Spence. You know. He gonna come to the show. You huh? wrote that down. Yeah. Like God is good, but you know the Bible says you need to write this, write, 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 write it out and make it plain. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So th- that's that's manifestation. Yeah, that, that it's really it's it's written. Most of the things we do, you know, we either say them or write them or something to manifest them. Mm-hmm. So I, I definitely think that's dope. So did you get to talk to him when he came out there? Man, he, I was a groupie that. What, <laughs> I was that. I what did you too. say? Man, I don't know. I was just cheesing. It's a picture on Facebook I got. Man, you see me cheesing hard. Man. I'm cheesing hard. Man, I'm just man like, he like a legend in the city. Yeah, he a legend. He a legend he in a the legend. city. He a legend, period. Yeah. But in the city, we yeah. love Earl Spence. He's an inspiration. Yeah, man. like, yeah, yeah everybody feel like advice? they can make it out. Yeah. Hmm? Did he give you any advice? Uh, no. He nah. was so excited. He was. He didn't man, because at the end of the day, this is his dream. This is what he wrote out. And God is blessing him and giving it to him the way he, he wrote it. Yeah, because uh, I, I, like, um, I came up with a uh, belt. I came up with a belt. Um, like a I, championship belt. Yeah, championship belt. That's what like, people be fighting over. Like, that belt, everybody want that belt. And Earl Spence on her. Wow. Yeah, like his uh, picture on it. Yeah. Wow. So, Dope, uh, man. Yeah, man. So me and my brother. I wish you'd have bought the belt. Somebody man, got yes. it though. Uh yeah. Uh, <laughs> who's somebody the got the belt right Marcellus, now. Marcellus Walker, the new champion. Shout out to Marcellus Walker, man. Man, yeah, he the new champion. How man. long has he been a champion? Since Saturday. Wow. So I seen it with some big events going yeah. on. I follow you now. I'll be yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, you better so get out there. The fights are every weekend? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. How often are these fights? Maybe like twice a year, three times a year, just depends. And they got okay, the boxing so ring and everything, the, right? So they yeah. hold the belt for a while. Yeah. So where is much. the boxing ring now? It's not in the park anymore. No, I got banned from the park. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Because the fight, I can but imagine no, because, because the fight because in the Because at the end of the day, you go, anytime there's a blessing, there's going to be triumph as well. Yeah. There's going to be trials, I'm sorry. So you, you got to be expecting that. Mm-hmm. Anything you go, there's going to be bumps and bruises. When we first bought all this equipment, for uh, Boss Talk 101, um, I had bought everything. I was ready to go, and COVID hit. Boom. Mm-hmm. I had to keep this stuff a whole year. It was just at the house, not even being used. We started using it for Bible study. I would teach the Word with this equipment. And um, and then in January, it was like, it's time to go. 
We can't we can't wait no more. Yeah. And then when we did this, you now you got Boss Talk One On One. Boss Talk One On One. <laughs> Shout out to Boss Talk One On One, hey, man. man. Thank you so much, you man. Me? Yeah, man. So so the vibes is right, man. You yeah. know we love hard over here. Yeah, man. you know. And I, I I'm definitely I, I was glad. Like I said when I met you, I was like, man, you know this is dope, man. So how did the our whole outfit? How did you come up with that whole concept? Hey, my bad, man. I just want to say, man, I can feel your spirit, man. Man, thank God. Nah, man. Like then you said something about the, like the whole, you know, just. I can't remember you said something about church or Bible study or whatever. Oh yeah, you said. teaching. Yeah, just teaching. Yeah, right. yeah. I, I teach. I I feel like you are the church, but I ain't. Yeah, yeah. But I ain't surprised though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just your whole vibe, man. I well, just want to say that. I it ain't took a long time to get here. You know what I'm but saying? You I, I, yeah, I start. I started <laughs> off different. Yeah. But then as you go and you evolve and you get to be an older guy and you have kids and you have a wife and you've been married for all uh, right at 20 years and and mm -hmm. all this stuff started happening. Life happens, man. So you have to you have to put the shoebox up, man. And you you yeah. have to retire and go into a phase where you can leave some a legacy to your children. Well, I can that's, feel the radiation. That's dope, man. It radiates. I grew, yeah. up, I grew up in church my whole life. Yo, that's dope, Yeah, I man. grew up in church my whole that's life. That's dope, man. You got to yeah. have a relationship with God. Yeah. You got to fill your spiritual void, man. Yeah. If you don't, then you'll feel empty even though you 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 full on everything else. But that one thing will still have you feeling like you don't ha like everything's not there. Man, so, I just been I just got back right with God. That's what's up, <laughs> man. Yeah. But that's but I love I love the fact of how you like I say you saving lives and that's mm -hmm. when I when I talk here then when I start researching mm -hmm. that's what I seen because a lot of dudes you know what I'm saying they choose to do it another way and and you don't come back from that. Mm -hmm. You don't come back from that. So for what you doing, say, man, hey, man, we need that. We these young boys yeah. need that, man. Much as they pointing at the uh, Instagram with their little gun, can't even shoot straight. These niggas can't shoot. I'm from mm -hmm. the country. I know how to shoot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but these boys ain't practicing at no yeah. range like that, man. Yeah. That's why you have a lot of accidents. Yeah, I'm being True. real. Like, yeah. Yeah, that's how that kid killed his friend yeah, like that. You're right. Because yeah. he don't know how to handle the gun. my little partner. It, it, that was your little partner? Yeah. See? Man, matter of fact, me and my daughter, man, we were crying going to the event. The wow. event Saturday. Yeah. My line that, was, that, was, that was your that was your little party. Yeah, man. The closer we got, man, we jamming him, man. Just got to just she crying, man. I'm trying to stay strong. And I couldn't like I ain't just yeah, that was the, that, that was the one. So y'all knew his music, y'all knew yeah. him personally and everything. Yeah. And he decided he, he that's the, the one that committed. He committed from, suicide. Yeah, he from the, I was with him a week before he did it. But it was like before that. He had accidentally had an issue with his yeah, friend, and and, yeah. and and you see what I'm saying? We, we got to get these youngsters trained. But was up. there any gotta sign? Train them Do you right, know bro. if there was any signs of um, something like that happening? Because you, he was going through a lot. You know, he just lost a girlfriend know, but to, with, allegedly. But I know that friend thing that messed with you. That's his best friend. But mm -hmm. the reason why I say that because you have other people who probably have done it because I've heard of cases like that like the other lady that we were trying to get on here yeah. she's about to come on her, here he, yeah, her son too. got killed by his best his friend. friend that was another case and um, so they're trying him the same thing but just like how those cases are so similar I know that there's tons of cases out there that that is happening so as parents what can we do to, to, to see certain signs in our kids so that you know they don't commit that suicide that they don't, you know. That's so, why so I'm wondering. It's hard to. Did you hard see to gauge those signs? That. Did you know it's about hard to those gauge signs? That, man. I, when you look back, I seen a sign. I'm be you did. Morning. Yeah. You could tell when he when wasn't you, doing good. When you with look that. back, man, man, I've been, I, I got mental health problems. I take medication. I made so, I took my medication this week. Yeah. I take medication for mood, anxiety, uh, depression, uh, sleep. You know, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Just uh, what I was up 24 hours, more than 24 hours. Probably took maybe an hour, two hour nap. I don't know how long it was. I asked my daughter earlier how long was I asleep. She didn't know. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah, man, it seems seem like you and your daughter got a good relationship. Oh, man. man. So, I love that, man. man. You just I love it, man. She, she like only child? No, I got another I got another child. I got a son. Okay. Yeah, okay. but how this one right he? here ain't Five. leaving daddy's side, man. Oh, yeah. Listen, she yeah. ain't trying to hear that, man. Oh, nah. And that's the dopest thing. And mm -hmm. I, I love it, man. That that That's the bond you need right there, man. Save that helped my life. Go yeah, the same save, thing. Save That's the reason life. why. That's, That's the why. reason why. Before, yeah. man, I'm telling you, man, before I had her, man, I was wild. I was yeah. wild. Yeah. Even when her mama was pregnant with her, I was wild. I'd have really, really just, like, slow down to, to, like, about two months. I was already slowing down, but I was wild. Wow. Were you on medication before when you were wild? Or nah, the military. Like, the military. You military. Yeah, when I came back home from my wreck, man, I don't know what happened. How long was you in there? Uh, six years, six years. Texas Army National Guard, one year uh, Army Reserve. So pretty much, I was home majority of the time. Wow! It's just the deployments and then like you know training, like 
what uh, once a month, then like for the summer, you know, stuff like that. But yeah. When I came home from Iraq, man, I'm telling you, I, I'm still trying. Well, I don't figure it out right now, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But, what is uh, it? Uh, I'm trying to see if I want to get that personal. Yeah, if you don't uh, want to, you don't yeah, have to. I mean, think about it is uh, um, the hood, man. I mean, uh, matter of fact, I done been to a PTSD inpatient program for two months. Um, I done been in uh, Green Oaks for two days, been wow. in the VA for two days. You know, I had. I a, hear about the VA. I hear the VA don't really be helping. Um, it depends who you ask. Okay. <laughs> you know, it, it depends <laughs> on the person. For real, you know. You ask uh, one person, he may say it don't help. You ask another person, be like, man, the VA has been good to me. It just yeah. depends. It's yeah. a way you got to play the game. It's a game. I ain't lying But to at you. the end of the day, God God has a way of stepping in, and everything going to be all right. Yeah. A whole lot of wood shit been yeah. brought up out of this whole situation, man. And it's therapeutic, and it help a lot of people. I remember- see that. I know that. You know what I'm saying? People want to get it off their mm-hmm. chest. This guy here is a guy that they can call. They can get it off their chest. Yeah. Ain't nobody got to die that night. Yeah, but, you know, uh, I know we say guns and gloves up, but to me, it's different. That's what y'all say? Yeah, we say guns down, gloves up. Hey. Say, saying guns down, gloves up, like saying Black Lives Matter, like a yeah, you know, yeah. No, like I like it. saying that everybody, you know, is saying whatever. It ain't nothing I made up. You know, just something everybody's saying. It just makes sense. Put them. It guns makes sense. Down, put them, put them mm-hmm. gloves up. Gloves up. Yeah. You know, but I'm still on some like you know network and come together. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, stop the violence, man. You know, I just look at the hood, for instance. I look at it like we got PTSD. You know, I, I know what PTSD is. I, you know, I'm in the military. I'm, I've been educated on it. So I've been uh, taking therapy classes since I since 2010. Wow. It's 2021. That's 11 years. Yeah. So. And has it helped? Sometimes. It depends. It, it depends if you work the system. You got to apply it. Let me ask you this. Um, let me, Just a question. Did you think about PTSD or anything when Earl Spence walked out there that day? Uh, when he came out there and you was it was straight joy and just thinking just happy for that moment right oh for that moment oh yeah yeah. see what I'm saying it's stuff like that God replaces pain with peace he he, he, he replaces sad with joy you see what I'm saying Mm -hmm. so so that's where it's at man uh, being able to create those instances with your daughter and stuff like that way bigger than anything that Anything that you could go through, man, that mm-hmm. th- those are things that you can put in those places that can lift you up uh, all the time. Man, right? I'm telling you like this. When Earl Spence came, man, I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. <laughs> man, I'm telling you, dude like a hero, man. Yeah. I ain't, I'm just calling what it is. Some people like, man, I'll defeat Dick Rodden, but man, dude is like a hero. He definitely people. is. I'm talking about a big inspiration. Like, yeah, I watch him every time him. he fight. I hadn't been to see him. You know, I had never been to a fight. That's I have of, never. Yeah, that's something we got to do. That's the bucket list, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, we got to go. Everybody rock with EJ, man. I watch him every time, but yeah. I watch all his fights, but yeah. I just never have been there yeah. live. And I am I think I'm, I'm May check in August. I don't know. It ain't that I can't afford mm. to go. I just had never went. I need to go. Yeah. We, we we need to check that out. Turn back around and go right back. Go uh, right back. We're going to be out there. To, uh, we're going to be out there. To, like a week or two a before. A week or two before. A week or so before, so we're going to go back. Yeah, the whole Dallas going watch. Yeah, yeah, they coming out for yeah, Earl. Yeah, the whole Dallas. Are going you going to try to go? Man, I already got my. Oh, oh my boy said he got his tickets. I don't have the tickets to the fight because they ain't dropped yet. Yeah. But like to the hotel and the flight. You yeah. ready? Oh, yeah. That's dope, yeah. man. Yeah. That's really, really dope. Like, I like that because at the end of the day, for you to for you to be already advanced going to support. Hey, Earl, step up, man. Hey, Boss Talk 101, we got you live over here on our <laughs> mind, baby. <laughs> Yeah, man. I, I'm trying to get him in that seat. Yeah, man. Hey, man. You got to get behind your own, man. Yeah. You know, just definitely. how the Michigans get behind theirs, man. We got, we got to get behind ours. And I agree with that. 100%. Like for real. My brother, is, he, he preaches that at all time. Mm-hmm. You know, he going to love this segment. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He going to love yeah. it because he he says that every time. Yeah. Um, so how did you come up with the with the whole get up, with the with the costume, with the wig? Man. With, I also, I've been an instigator my whole life. <laughs> You've been an instigator, so you good man, at this promoting. Man, I'm telling you. You can like, promote that thing. Even in school, people will be fighting or I'll get into it with somebody. I can draw. I can draw like a mud. Yeah. So I'll draw a person. I'll draw myself or I'll draw whoever beefing. And then uh, I'll, pass, you know, I'll get them printed out and pass them out to the school. In school? And like, this is about to go down. Like, you know, my friends who grew up with me, like, yeah. really, really know me. Yeah. They get to laughing like, bro. Man, when your documentary come out, bro, we gonna tell everybody Man. like this has always been you. You and they they just laugh because they laugh because like it's funny that 
I'm blowing up off something I've always loved, something I've always did. It's just on a bigger platform for the world to see. And I got a wig on now. Hey, I like it. <laughs> Do you wear that wig every time? Every time, every, like, every no time the fight going do? down? Yeah, yeah, when the fight stuff going down, or when I'm promoting you. Yeah, yeah, that's dope, man. Yeah. So Where did you find it? Uh, costume store. I, went, you know, I got on Google store. Matter of fact, everybody kept calling me Dun King the while Yeah, it, yeah. It, it was like, bro, you're an Instagram. So it's Dun like, King, Dun King. It was, it was organic. It, it yeah. was pretty much something that they kept saying to where you like, yeah. man, let me go and put yeah. it down. So when somebody say something, I jump on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I heard it more than one time, boom, get caught me done. King. All right, I'm mess them up. Boom, got me a done king wig. You know what I'm saying? So call me, you know, hey, you the king, bro, you the king. Yeah. Boom. Them thing done king, king. Let me get a crown. You know, well, I ain't got it on right now, but boom, got the crown, whatever. Man, if you the general, you the general, bro. Psh, got me a general jacket. You know wow. what I'm saying? Watch what you say to me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man, because yeah. you ain't playing no game. Manifestation. Yeah. Let me ask you, so um, let's get back to Charleston White. When you, okay, how did you meet Charleston? Uh, Duke Pharaoh, man. Duke Pharaoh. Duke, Duke, Duke Pharaoh. So, I, okay, I seen you had, was it Bosco 100? Yeah, and him, Bosco 100. Yeah, you had them on the on your. Charleston you, White and Charleston Bosco. White and Bosco yeah. 100. How did you set that up? Man, I paid Bosco for an interview. Okay. Well, not even an interview. I just, man, I just know. I don't know. Been like, uh, Bosco, I've been watching him for years. Um, just the people I watch, man. The people I watch, I like having fun with, and I reach out to them. Now, I don't think it ain't nothing I can't do. You know, so I thought I can do anything now. So, uh, boom, reach out to Bosco. Thought that would be dope for promotion just for me talking to him. And then uh, Charles and White, that was like an accident. Really? You know, that was like when me and you met. Yeah, Charles White, that was an accident. Like when he jumped on that live. You, hold on, are you asking how that live happened? How the li live, how the live okay. happened? First, I was I, I was gonna ask you how you met Charles, but oh, okay. go ahead and let's talk about how that live okay. happened. How that live happened, man, that wasn't supposed to happen like that. You know what I'm saying? That got over like 100,000 views, yeah. man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Charles, man, cause, you know, Charles, you know, he was like, you know, he ain't fit to show the platform like that. He ain't fit to do that. He ain't fit to do that, but. Um, it happened, man. I don't know. It, it just happened. Did he just did he hit you up, or did when you talked to him? Uh, or so did when, you, when you man, let him in the live? Did you request uh, him? So when me and Bosco were live, when me and Bosco were live, uh, people were like Charleston in the comments, Charleston in the comments, and then uh, you know Bosco was like, man, Charleston in the comments, and uh, they were I was like, yeah, that's Charleston. I'm like, yeah, that's, <laughs> Charleston. that's him. You know, I, I, that's him, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I'm thinking like Charles ain't gonna go up. You know, Charles and I already done told me like, you know. He ain't gonna do yeah, it. Yeah, you know, whatever. You know, so um, he he blessed my game, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Charles, yeah. and, man, Charles and we got something deeper than. um. It, yeah, than, it's something about him, man. You know, me and him, we tight too. Mm -hmm. You know, when it come down to just a good dude, I know him, you know, we've done things together yeah. to help the community and stuff like that. Yeah. And um, I, I definitely, uh, I respect him. Um, a lot of people say what they want to say about him, but he is about what he says yeah. he's about, and yeah. so that that that's something that's that I think that he's done. He he's helped his platform a lot. Yeah. You know, when you pull up my my thing because he got when you pull up our YouTube, he'll pop up to the he top first, every time, every time because he got the most the most yeah. views, man. Yeah. Like he's he's an internet yeah. sensation, you know. Yeah, so, man, dude, dude, been good to me. Yeah. That's my talk to Charles. Like, man, he's so good to me, bro. He's been good to That's me. That's the way he is. You know People don't be realizing it. That's the way he is. Yeah. And that, if you don't know him, you ain't gonna know that. Yeah. But we really got we we're blessed to have a relationship yeah. with him. You know what I mean, yeah, and that's no, that's something. And a lot of people be like I said, you could talk down, say what you want to say about him, but help a lot of people and brought a lot of things to this platform. And it's always love here for him. I, this the way I feel about it. You know, yes, he, he might be controversial, but who not? We all got our flaws. Ain't nobody mm -hmm. in this store right now that don't have their that have flaws. So, yeah. you know, at the end of the day, you know, and, and then I go even deeper. You know, I always say this. You know, I got to say it. Like God teaches us to meet people where they're at. Mm -hmm. How you going to help somebody if you're just talking about them? Mm -hmm. You can't help nobody just talking about them. So at the end of the day, you got to talk to them. And this platform is one that we do that. So you'll see people on here that you wouldn't expect anyway because I feel like you got to meet people where they're at. Mm -hmm. That's the way it is. <laughs> nah, for real. <laughs> That's, yeah, so so getting back to the uh, whole lot of wood shit, um, you got some now. What mm -hmm. do you plan to take it in the next, um, two say, years. not two years, a year? What, what, what do you what do you plan to see it? Since what you do, had what do you want to take it to? written down. Oh, you done been writing some more stuff down. Plan already. Man, when I see stuff, man, I'm telling you, I I even manifested Charles and why I, I ain't never talking about it. Well, no, with my post oh, pop. Oh, oh, this is exclusive. 
Nah, yeah. Yeah, this is exclusive. What happened? Tell me what happened. I just watched watch Charleston on TV, and I, I ain't never seen nobody like Talk Charleston. On, 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 on YouTube. Yeah, I ain't never seen nobody like Charleston. I'm like, what the heck? This nigga, I don't like my life. This nigga, this nigga crazy. <laughs> you know, I'm like, this nigga. He's speaking this real. Oh, uncle, uncle Ruckus. Oh, that nigga said some real shit, bro, nigga. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, like that. Then my partner with my best friend, like, bro, I can see you and Charleston talking, bro. I can see you meeting him, bro. I can see Charleston, bro. I think he'll fuck with you, bro. I can see that. I swear to God, like, damn, wanna know what bro was thinking that same shit. Wow. Then boom. You know what I'm saying? The Duke Farrell situation happened, uh, which was meant for bad. You know, he tried to sue me. Yeah. You know. And but uh Charleston got the talking shit about me, caught me a I remember that. And I remember that. All niggas, I know? remember that. And then I'm looking like, okay. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up, you know. Damn, I'm looking like a nigga talking about me. I, I like I liked you, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, then yeah. I'm happy too. I was like, nigga, hell yeah. Because you now, but that's going to make you look, make people put yeah, the light on you. I was you. like, this nigga done threw me an alley oop. Ooh, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. For real. So, man, uh, I reached out to him. You know, instead of just me saying, nigga, fuck you all. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just reached out to him in the inbox. Because he had already messaged me anyway and said something. Yeah. But then, you know, I don't, I can't remember if I, didn't, if I didn't respond to him, whatever it was, but I just reached out to him, whatever. Then I said, hey, what's up with your uh, cheerleaders from Fort Worth or something you said you got? And then he uh, said, send me your number, send him my number. We chopped it up, and the rest of history, man. Yeah, it's like that with him, man. The first time I talked to him, it was like that, too. We started going in the background and stuff that we both didn't kind of dealt with, yeah. uh, try, just relating the conversation. But it was wild. I was like, man, you know, when I talked to him, you know, I was like, dang, man, do I need to deal with Charleston White? You remember that? Mm -hmm. I asked my wife. I said, do I need to deal with Charles and White? My uncle, he kept hitting me up about him. Kept hitting me up about him. And I was like, you know what? I'm f and my brother was like, you need to deal with him. So I called him, man, and I didn't let go until I got him on the show and I gave him an award for helping those children mm -hmm. and stuff like he did. I'm the only one to give him an award on a platform. So I wanted to be the first. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, that's the way I do it. So I just wanted to award him for the the work that he did with the with the kids and uh the city and just the stuff that he do in the community I wanted to show that side of yeah. him because nobody shows that side of him they look at the controversy but they don't look at they look at the character but they don't look at the man that's what I was so I wanted you. to look at the man yeah. and I seen the man and I'm very very pleased who I with who I seen mm -hmm. and how I deal with that guy. You know, mm -hmm. so shout out to Charleston, man. You, you know, you know how we do. You got your guys in there talking that talk about you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I like him, man. Yeah, yeah he good yeah. to my daughter and everything. Yeah, I'm man. telling you, a dope dude, Sponsor, man. You know, you know, he love kids. Yeah, man. yeah, like, that's the man. way he is, man. Man, he sent us a kid over here that, that could draw and paint and all kind of stuff. And uh, he brought a kid on this show that had just got out of uh, juvenile and, mm. and uh, lost his mother and his father. So this guy, everything that he does on this platform that I've seen, so stand up. Hey, man, I see why Sean Cotton rock with him, too, because mm -hmm. he know how to deal with yeah. the Internet, man. So, mm -hmm. you know, this Texas, man, y'all ain't going to get it no way. East Coast <laughs> and the West Coast ain't going to get what we do. This Texas, baby. You know what I'm saying? We different down here. Yeah. We always have been and always will be. All right. <laughs> Am I right? No comment. <laughs> I don't want no smoke. No smoke. They gonna come at you, ain't you? Like y'all, y'all different. Okay, nigga. Well, whatever. Yeah. I, hey, don't get me over there with a whole lot of bullshit, nigga. I'm, I'm, hey, we gotta be the same weight. Yeah. Hey, nah, it is what it is, man. <laughs> Shoot, if they want man. Come put them gloves on, man. That's it, man. So, so you in, did? Did he answer our question about where he want to be in the next two oh. years? Yes. He, okay. No, I don't think no, I did. I don't think he no, did. No, no. Um. I changed it a little bit. Um. So I want to be a boxing promoter. Okay, like so you life. really want to take it there? Yeah, I really want to be a That's real dope, life boxing man. promoter. You're going to do it. Yeah, but right now I just want to take over the streets. My brother always like, dang, bro, you in the streets. But I want to take over the streets, you know. If you want to take over the streets, you're going to take over the streets. Yeah. Because it's all, it's all about what, what you say, what you write down. Yeah. It, you can do it. Yeah, but, yeah, like, I just want to start with that, you know, just, it's like a uh, tumbleweed, you know. Okay. So then when I do get there to the uh, professional boxing world, because I know – when I do get there, they gonna have some kind of regulations I'm not gonna like. Mm -hmm. You know, then they gonna tell me how I gotta move. Yeah. So right now, I like the way I gotta move, and I'm getting people along the way, and I'm finding myself, and I'm finding the game, and I'm doing it like ain't nobody never did before, and I'm having fun doing it. So by the time I do come to the boxing world, you know, then I'm already known, I already got my fan base, and I already did my thing. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing it like that. Then at the same time, 
the world changing. The look world at, is changing. Look at Trilla, look at Snoop Dogg, them. look yeah. at Zab Judah, them. So they they focusing more my way anyway. Yeah, you know? yeah. So, so do you you ever want to interact? With, I, I met Zab too. I don't know if his picture on the wall, but ha, do you ever want to interact with them to where you bring them to some of your events? I grew up out these dudes. So man, you like on, to have man. them to come to your what? event? You got to be at that fight. You got to go promote. What? You got to promote for a whole lot of woods. Yeah. You got the shirts. What's up? What you doing out there? When man, you go to the fight, uh, I mean, are you gonna yeah, try to nah, promote a little bit? What? Man, I can't miss it for the world, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't miss it for the world, man. Look, we got, man, look. We got a dude. Matter of fact, I always say that I'm trying to bring, I always say I'm trying to bring Vegas to Dallas. I've been to Vegas Already. one time and I seen it. And I'm thinking, like, man, how can I bring that element down here? Mm -hmm. So when I seen that building got the field, I'm like, man, we could bring Vegas to Dallas. Already. You know, I even got like, I got big old Vegas posters, which I never hung up because I'm always, something always going wrong doing them events. But uh, I even got like, uh, like how you say, welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas. Yeah. I got the uh, Las Vegas part uh, Airbus over, and they got welcome to uh, fabulous whole lot of woods. Hey, yeah, but the dude did a horrible job, so I. Ain't, it's okay, you know, but you got you got yeah. instructs, you got to start. Yeah, the next thing I know, um, Earl Spence, Pacquiao, Vegas. I'm like, man, no, man, this ain't no, no coincidence. Oh yeah, 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 we got to get out you know, there, that thing. Yeah, I got to get out there, and I, I know, man, people love this image, man. Oh, the man, and these they gonna kill yeah. you. You gonna, you the one, man. Yeah. So you said you already bought your tickets for mm -hmm. the show. No, uh, no for just the for the just for, his, for the hotel. Hotel. Oh, hotel. The hotel in the plane. But them tickets hotel ain't gonna plane. be. They ain't gonna Are be they cheap. Are they on sale yet? No, they ain't dropped yet. No, okay. I'm going. I'm going too. I'm going. I might. Yes, we check should. it out. We should. How can I be from Dallas? We got Dallas biggest boxer ever. You know, going to fight Pacquiao, one of his, his biggest fight ever. I gotta go the whole and, and you going. and you yeah and you basically this is your this is your thing yeah, you gotta yeah, be there yeah man that's I gotta dope go. man that's networking go. too very yeah, much so it. and I'm telling what God got in store for real I like it man yeah. I like it a lot man so like so YouTube do you have a YouTube channel and everything I, set I just start doing it okay man. Like, you gotta do it yeah today man like I was looking at the mics I was like alright so um about one of these arms, or I guess like the arms or whatever you call it. Yeah. I bought that. I bought a mic, look something similar. Okay. Um, I bought a green backdrop. Um, that's dope. Yeah, and I got a Canon M50 camera. Yeah. So I ordered me uh, the charger to go into the wild from the camera. Order that for Amazon to come in tomorrow. Dude, for to be good. He yeah. Going, he, it's up. If you need me, you need yeah. my help in anything. Cool. You ask me, I'm yeah. gonna be there for yeah. you. Yeah. Even if you if you want to stream in on. Uh, Spotify, if you want to stream it on Google Podcasts, mm. and if you want to do it to where you, when you push it up, everything go to every platform, I'll help yeah. you with that. It's crazy. Like, Whatever you need. Yeah, thank you. Nah, for real. Nah, nah that's for real. real. Thank you, thank you. If you call me, I'm going to be, and, I'm, and then if you go invite guests, you <laughs> yeah. invite guests over, whatever, paperwork, whatever, we'll, yeah. we'll help you, man. Okay. That's what we're here for. That's the reason uh, we're in the building. Man, that yeah. is about to blow. Oh. We all going to blow with it. That's why <laughs> that's I tell it. people. I tell everybody, man, I say, bro, look what's going on. Look around, bro. Dallas is about to blow, bro. And I say, when it blow, I'm trying to blow with it. With it, for sure. You know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah. Just like this, man, when Dallas blow, everybody going to be like five times bigger. Yeah, everybody. yeah. So it's like everybody get in position. Yeah. You know, exactly. get in position, do your thing for when it blow. Yeah, I can't Y'all see the highways, y'all see the traffic, everybody moving down here. Moving to the, t yeah, yeah. 50 everybody Cali moved to Houston. Sure did. Exactly. Definitely. Like, text Texas is about to blow. Texas like, about to blow. Y'all heard that? Texas about to blow, nigga. Don't <laughs> hey, don't don't slip and fall, nigga. When it blow, you better have your money and everything stashed <laughs> up right. We better get it in. We investing. Hey, you got a lot of you know. You got the richest richest black man in from America mm -hmm. in Austin, Texas. His name I never is knew that. Robert Smith. He's the richest uh, American black man mm. here. So he lives right in Austin and. Um, he bought I don't, he, with Morehouse. He paid all their tuition, like forty million dollars in tuition, and that was twenty nineteen when he yes. did that. That's yeah. him. That's yeah. him for me. Yeah, he That's did that. For me. But it, yeah, he he worth eight billion dollars right now. Dang. So yeah, he never played basketball and he never played uh, <laughs> any sports. He did it uh, off a uh, bank investment right. and uh, I believe a computer software. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, he, he uh, re redesigned a computer software, I believe. But that's a lot of people don't be knowing about him because he's a. Uh, he 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 could walk in there now nobody would know him. I, I think that's a dope too. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, he's he just a chill dude, you know, from what I can see and what I can tell looking from the outside in, you know. Um like so, Al Heyman or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He dope, man. I love it. And I know people he, he and he for us. He for us. He yeah. he he always try to uh do things. He's just did uh something for black reparations. 
he when T.I. kept hollering that, mm-hmm, he really was, mm-hmm. Robert was the one leading that on. So it's stuff like that that, that really I love to see, and I know he's sincere, you know. He always talk about how he was treated, and I think that's something. Our people come from a lot of dysfunctionalities, a lot of things. Before the military, there was already issues. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, slavery, and, uh, man. Yeah, slavery is it's, a big it's, issue. It's, it's lingering. You know, you got to think about the slavery era, the, I mean, era, the Jim Crow era, you know, the crack era. Like, everything is still lingering. Like, you know, the way, this, this is how I see it. But, you know, when you see all them bums and crackheads and just just all this dysfunction in um, the lower class black communities, mm-hmm. that's that's a direct fact. I mean, a direct effect. From slavery and stuff, and all that stuff. Most definitely, most definitely, and I know it is. And, and, and he always says that. Too. I'm always hard on people about how they treat our people and and where we coming from and understanding mm-hmm. how to meet them where they're at. That's why I say that. I'm never gonna turn my back on nobody. I don't care how bad or how you say they are, and you can say what you want to say about them, but they are people, and we love them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Period. Don't matter, because at the end of the day, no matter what they done, it is nowhere in comparison to what they had to go through. Our mm-hmm. people, our ancestors. So I never do that. You know what I'm saying? With, nah, I've, I've read, you can read books at my house on history where women was eight months pregnant, and when she when, when, when a woman was eight months pregnant, they hung her and cut her stomach open, mm-hmm. and an eight-month baby fell out of her stomach and hit the ground and cried one time, and the, the master stumped the baby's head. And so you can't tell me that that, that didn't affect our people today. So I don't play like that, period. You know what I'm saying? I'll never turn my back on our people. No, nah, I'm just, as you talk, man, I'm just thinking about it. No, nah, you're right. I'm just thinking, no, I'm just thinking all them horrific stories. Oh, man, we yeah. we went to D.C., we went to the, uh, matter of fact, Robert Smith put in a, a place up there, paid 20 some million dollars, 25 million, put this a, a historical uh, museum in D.C. we went to, where, where they show like the slave ships and the bags that they carried, and you know, it would be people coming over on those ships, and then millions of people died in transition coming mm-hmm. to That's America. That's the African American Museum. That's right, the African American Museum. Man, we went, we I, I went up there to, to see, and the bags they was picking cotton in from here to that counter over there. Yeah, you know, the so when I look at those type of moments, it make me respect uh, what they done and how we got here, and and I can't turn my back on it and say it didn't happen. Yeah, I can't turn my back on it and say it didn't affect us. Yeah, we'll bring because like our guys, ancestors, man. if you look at them, and if you had to face them, would you think they would say that? Having to go through what they went through? So I don't play with it at the end of the day. And at the end of the day, it's all love. It's still love, no matter what, because that love is what can help us to get through it. But at the end of the day, it was a, at the end of the day, it was a lot of hurt that pushed us into the positions we're in today. Yeah. So I, I really I really believe that. Yeah, and, you know? and it's true. You believe what's true. I mean, yeah. it's self-explanatory. <laughs> yeah. It's real. Yeah, but, but real. we're doing great. Our people do come together a lot more than what people give them credit for. When there's a concert, when there's an Earl Spence fight, we come together and we, we stand up for our people. So people don't like to say that, and they don't like to put it out there in that way, but we do stand up for our people. It's very obvious. There wouldn't be no Jay-Z without our people. He mm-hmm. had to start from a foundational place mm-hmm. with our people. There wouldn't be no... Uh, Baby and a uh, bird man and cash money. Yeah, it came through drugs or whatever, but it still was our people. It, it, it's us JFK pushing us up. Fortune came uh, through drugs too. Correct, definitely did. That's mm-hmm. that's something to think about. But that museum is dope and it's deep. If you ever get a chance to go to D.C., I think I seen T.I. Nim up there the other day. It's like, man, it's a bunch of floors on that thing. What about seven, ten? I got so tired. You can't do it. You got to have like two days, three days to go through that thing. You know what I mean? It's good for the kids. I love the kids getting to see it. You know what I mean? Because they need to, they need to go. Uh, Who don't want a trip out to go out there to D.C. and yeah, hang I'm, out for? A I'm few big days. on Black History. Yeah, that it's got and it's they, very educational and it's free. It doesn't cost anything. So if you yeah. ever go to the museums in, in D.C., um, I don't think we paid to get in in not one. Did we? No, that it's not free. We just ended up getting tickets. We got go. tickets. Okay, it was yeah, free for us. Free. God blessed yeah. us. Yes, I guarantee you. If you call us or, or research, it, somebody will bless you too. You gotta want it. You know, <laughs> if you take one step toward God, it take. Two steps towards you. Look at the whole lot of wood shit. He writing things happening. Yeah. Yeah, man. A lot of people. Yeah, a lot of people. Just probably think, man. I'm just this crazy dude. I'm just put on a wig and start screaming. Hold on. No, no, no. shit happen. Hey, no, nah. no, nah. man. And, and, and it's gonna work. Sacrifice if, too. I'm talking what? about man. When I say I put everything all up put my all into this, I'm yeah. talking about right around no AC, 
Uh, no car for a year. No wreck my car leaving the Come event. on now. I'm talking about on the bus. Like when I when I made that. Won't um, he do it? When I made that belt, I was on the bus on the phone, hey. contemplating, having debate with my brother about who should go on the belt. Wow. How I'm gonna do the belt? You know what I'm saying? Things like that. I was on the bus thinking all this, man. I'm, I'm like having meetings, catching the bus from North Dallas all the way to the woods and the cliff and other places for for people trying to screw me over or, or like pretty much when whenever I see somebody that's just about the dollar, I move around. I you know just, what I'm saying? Because I'm like, man, I'm about to pass it. Now, I pay what I weigh, and I pay good. If somebody asks me, if somebody, your price is your price. I ain't going to disrespect your price. Either I can say no or yeah, but I ain't going to I mean, you can't come down. You can't, okay, what's your price is? Okay, boom. But if I feel like, uh, you know, a lot of people try to play me like I'm green or was trying to play me like I'm green along the way. Oh, we can do it like this. We can do it like that. Or, oh, how much money? Man, nah, I'm all right, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm all right. I figure out on my own. In which I do figure it out on my own, and I, you know, and I'm doing good. So yeah. while you're doing this, do you have a full time job? No, uh, uh-uh. uh. So this is your full time. Yeah, it, yeah. Pretty much, I go to school and I get, I ain't gonna lie, get disability. Yeah. yeah. What yeah. are you going to school for? Finances. Finances. Um, yeah. Learn so, how to handle that money when it comes. It's in. coming too. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I see it coming. I, I think the YouTube and thing how is to gonna blow. Yeah, I, I do. I too. think that's where I, I really think do. it's going to happen I ain't gonna for you. Lie, I do because I, I I know if you sitting there talking about the events, that's going to give it more momentum. Man, I'm, I'm man, telling you. Does anybody else do what he does? No, not that I know of. Yes, who does it? I ain't saying their names, but they do. But, but how they many? Do. Okay, okay. Well, don't I like say, that. Yeah. Well, hey, look, man. how many no other pro, no people do what you do? Is it huh? only that one person that does what you do, or you have multiple people who do what you do? It's a lot of people doing what I do. But okay. they don't do it as good as he do it. Man, so I, how are man. you different from everybody else? I'm the first. I'm he the, started. Oh, so I'm, they came after you. Yeah, I'm the first in his wave, and I dress up, and you know, pre, pretty much I lay the blueprint out. He go there. But extra nothing's mile. wrong with them doing what you, because what I thought about earlier when you're talking about because what you're doing is something really good, giving telling people to put their guns you down and people. pick up the gloves and actually fight it out like the old school way instead of trying to be, you know, more violent that can cause more of a death. You know what mm. I mean? So if more cities, and I'm not even gonna say just inner cities because anybody and everybody have issues like this. If everybody picked it up and start doing something like this, you wouldn't have a lot of these young kids picking up the guns to try to do, you know, crazy yeah, stuff. Yeah, so. see, that's something I'm kind of conflicted in. You know, I ain't scared to say it is what it is. I'm sometimes like, you know, I ask myself, I'm always asking myself, bro, are you a hater? Are you bitter? <laughs> Are oh, you jealous? No, for real. I always mm-hmm. have. You have to check yourself. I always have reality checks with myself. You know, did you do that person wrong? Or you a whole ass nigga? Like that's you know. And then if I can ask myself them questions and I feel like I'm not, then I'm good. But if I feel like I am and I did somebody dirty, man, I will call you and ask you for forgiveness. I will apologize to you. I will feel bad that whole day. That's the type of dude I am. That's yeah. Good. So me, um, I just look at man. I know like people get mad when I say um, it's a competition. You know, a competition market. Pushing each other. You know, they, they get mad. But the thing about it is, when I say competition, I don't mean in a bad way. No, 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 no. You know, it's just that before I went to school, when I thought about competition, I probably would have thought maybe, like, man, it's a bad thing. Like, why you in competition with me, bro? But you got a competition market. So it's like this. The way I look at it, if I start this fight stuff, and then, uh, so I come to the market, the, the market's right here. If I come to the market with this fight stuff, and then somebody else comes to the market with this fight stuff. One of us got to do something different. They probably going to do something different. They probably going to have an add on, you know, things like that to where I can lose what I got. That's that's how Walmart took over. You know, it's like if you don't catch up, if you don't catch up, you'll get lost. Keep going. Yeah, pretty much if you, if you don't catch up, you'll get lost. If you don't um, outdo what, if you don't outdo or evolve, you're going to get lost. So, it's just the way it is. Every time you see a McDonald's, you see a Burger King. You know? So, yeah. hey, so, but so competition makes you better. It makes it better. Like Michael Jordan, we, with my, but like the competition that comes makes me better. Mm-hmm. I make them better. Mm-hmm. You know? And then the whole time, pe- what I see in it is that people are, 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 people are really uh, avoiding situations that could go a whole, to a whole mm-hmm. other level. And it's all because of what you started. That's what mm-hmm. I look at. So yeah. you helping those people too. But, you know, whether whether it be indirectly or not, right? Yeah, that's just the way it go. But I know a lot of people don't agree with, you know, how I say about competition, but it is what it is, you know? So let me ask you, I'm going to go back into the mental health a little bit. 
Um, so when you first got diagnosed or realized that you had mental health issues, that's after the military or was that before that you, you were after. having? After. Because mm -hmm. one thing I used to always say, and I've even had it written down, because I've had friends who were married to military people, mm -hmm. and they started telling me about how much, you know, nightmares and how many issues that they have, and they're not able to open up to, the, to them. It's like they felt like they, they wouldn't understand. So... My one of my goals or my dream was to open like a halfway house for military people coming home because mm -hmm. I always feel like they need to, somewhere to come to to readjust to society and learn how to deal with certain things before they come out into society. Because sometimes some people, whether commit suicide or um, harm others or just different, don't know. That's why I, I've actually met some people who say that's why I keep re enlisting because I don't know how to function in this world. Man, that's some truth. Um, yeah, man, that's true. Like, I can function in the military, mm -hmm. but in the civilian world, it's more complicated. Exactly. For real, it really is. Huh? It just it is what it is. In the military, they hold your hand. They hold your hand, and you know you know what you, you know where you're gonna be. Be where you're supposed to be, and be on time. Things like that. I heard, man, just you to the wolves. You know, a lot of people who go to the military, you know, when they get out, they lost because yeah. their life was structured by the military. Now it's, how are you going to get it? But how do you think we can correct that and help people to adjust to society, number one? Um, number two, just to, because you don't want someone to keep re-enlisting because they don't know how to survive out here or how to, you know, and deal with people. So how do you think that we can help that? It's funny y'all talking on this subject because we got a letter where that's what she wanted to do she wrote a letter we both wrote just down. like how you say writing how down you, things I, that's yeah. one thing i wrote we down. wrote down letters together years ago probably in 2016 mm -hmm. and she wanted to help people who get out of the military with P ptsd and that's what that's her thing yeah i remember when i get out of the when i got out of the military man oh when i when i came home from my wreck i didn't know nothing about nothing i went in at 20 I was already having, you know, hard times, jobs, you know, I'm doing like warehouse, Taco Bell, I mean, Taco Bueno, you know, before the military. So, you know, do the military, you know, I get my trade as a wheel mechanic. Then uh, I come home and it's like, I'm looking for jobs, can't get jobs. You know, I got a criminal record. Um, well, you got a criminal record before military? Yeah, I just had like a uh, trespassing. Okay. You know, like probably fighting in public, trespassing, whatever. Okay. So, uh, but I couldn't get a job. Couldn't just on that? Yeah, I, I could And that's not even that I'm, serious. I, I try to be a police officer. I try to be a fireman. I was trying to. That's just, so crazy. Cause you can be in the military, but you can't even come out and be a police officer. Man, I used to always say that. Man, I'm like, man, y'all tell y'all, y'all mean to tell me that y'all give me um, M16 and M4s, and I go overseas and put my life online, but I can't even come home and carry a pistol. Wow. You know, and I was just like, man, you know, it, it was messed up, man, because I was really thinking I'm be one of them good cops. I'm be one of them cops in the hood to where Try to help I the understand them, you know, yeah. things like that. You know, because, man, when I came home, man, like, I was. You mm. had plans. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm thinking, like, man, because think about it, like, I feel accepted. Like, people treated me different when I joined the military. You know, before mm -hmm. I joined the military, mm -hmm. treat you like a nigga. Treat you like, you know, just, just feel it. But then when I joined the military, it's just, hey, uh, you got that you got that uniform on. Thank you for on. serving. Mm -hmm. Thank you for serving. Uh, hey, sir, uh, let, let me pay for your gas. Let me pay for this. You get pulled over. Uh, you don't want to know what? I'm not going to take you to jail. Uh, get, you, get your stuff together. You know better. You know, things like that. Uh, I don't know. I lost my whole train of thought. Yeah, but the thing is, <laughs> I, I, what I say is on a whole lot of wood shit is, is, is that whole situation is, is therapeutic for him, too. Right. And, oh, it is. And that's that's it the, is, that's, man. that's that's by that's helping the others, you help yourself. And yeah, and and I think that's the thing that I'm seeing in the whole. I keep bringing it back to that mm -hmm. because I, I I see that 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 that's a whole that's a whole another world. And and I can say what I, what does Derek James mean to you? Man, come on, man. Everything. Yeah. Do you I, think I, he's, you think he's one of the best trainers out there? Yeah, man. But look, if if you're from Dallas, man, I just look at it like this. If you look like me, and you're from Dallas, man. I just feel like I know. I just know you. I know your story. Okay. I know what you went through. I know you went through something. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. Yeah. So I'm. I'm always rocking. So for the him home to team. be doing that like yeah. that and being successful at yeah, it is man, a great like, deal. You know, Trap Boy Mo Three. I rock yeah. with both of them. Yeah. I don't know him like that. But yeah. You know, it's Dallas. It's Dallas. It's man. like two brothers that get into it and you, you, you can't me? really pick a side. Whatever, man. I'm rocking. If you from, if you from Dallas or you from where I'm from, man. 
I got to rock with you. Go yeah. against you for what? Yeah, I feel you. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the white people don't do it. The Asians yeah. don't do yeah, it. The Mexicans don't do it. They don't, go don't, do it. They don't put you in their business. So it's like, why we should I do it? do it. I get you know it. what I'm saying? I get it. For real. I get it. And so. I, matter of fact, I want to uh, bring back up when I was like, um, about the other people who do what I do in the city. It's not that I'm hating, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, I do support some of them and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. But I can't support you too much to where it knocks me out. Yeah. Because no, no. I'm, I'm very struggling. It. Yeah, I get it. But, I, but, but for the but ones who don't understand. Could it be a certain a, a business where everybody say, join join together? They join, join together to create an organization. But it don't work like that. But couldn't they come to, like since you started it first? Could, if they came to you respectfully and said, "Hey, bro, I want I, I'd like to create an organization." So we have one of this in Houston, one of this in Austin, one of this in everywhere. Yeah. So we could have like say the champion of yeah. woods yeah, yeah, face this champion of such and such and make it even a bigger thing. Because when we work together, you can create something even better. You're right. But I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm new to this and I don't know so no you're way. You still trying to learn? I, like, to be honest, like, like uh, before I can do that, I gotta learn what I'm doing with this. Exactly. Because the thing about it is, uh, McDonald's got stole. Y'all seen yeah. the movie The Founder? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. McDonald's got stole. You know how I many snakes come around me? I don't yeah. meet most snakes in what I've met in my life. Mm -hmm. People come around me just to learn the game. People come around me just to see what I'm doing and take it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Let me, let me tell you something, man, because we, we about to shut it down, but. Man, we we de I definitely appreciate you for coming on the platform. Yeah. You know, you blessed us with you. you he's the first. You the first of your kind. Probably the only one that I'd mm -hmm. ever bring on the show. To be honest, I don't know. I and listen. I I don't want to say that because I don't know what never God. Never say never. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I thank God for me meeting you. Yeah. Like we met. Yeah, we met. Like yeah, that like was, it, it was weird. Just, yeah, not but, weird, but. <laughs> But it was like we both deal with the same people, and right. and we we just started talking. So I know it was organic. You know what I mean. So and it, it's crazy how it happened. And like I said, as far as the, the YouTube channel, anything I can help with, you call me. I'm there, bro. I'm telling you. Oh, Am yeah. I there? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you what to do. I I know got to go. But look, I just want to say this, man. Uh, with that YouTube or just like with everything that's going on, anything man, you need help on, people love me. It like it's kind of crazy because like it's just like man, Woods, man. You so real. You you so honest. You so genuine. Like, like I'm talking about like the older women, the girls, the dudes, the men, the the street niggas. They just be like, man, you so real. You so genuine. They just want to see me win. That's God's favor. And I'm, yeah, I'm just like, dang. I'm like, y'all really want to hear me talk or see me win? Like, yeah, heck? yeah. You know, and yeah, it's wrong. Well, I'm gonna man. be honest with you. The way you stepping outside the box, nobody's done that. Uh, Don King worth about mm -hmm. $300 million, man. You know what I'm saying? Right now. So, you know, promoting and doing it the way you're doing it, I think you're on the right track. And yeah. um, if it's anything you're going to do, an event or something you want, want to put eyesight on, it's up to you. But you can always come back here and say, hey, e, I'm going to come on the show and uh, I want people to know this. And I'm going to push that agenda for you. I promise. All right. All right. Thank you so much for coming on the show, man. This has been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And we out. The boss.